Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. So back with uh, another video, and today, inshallah, we will be starting combinations. Okay. So we did an introduction about uh, permutation. So just like that, we're gonna have an introduction about combination. Now remember, uh, combination is used whenever you're selecting objects. Okay. Whenever the order in which you select them is not important. To give you an example. I'm, I'm sure you've all uh, seen tennis on TV, okay? So let's say you want to select two players to play as a team. So doesn't matter the order in which you select them because it's the same team. So if let's say you select A first and then B, doesn't matter. Or compared to if you select B first and then A, it's still the same team, it's still the same group of people, okay? So whenever you're in a situation where order, merit, rank, there is no such thing and uh, changing the order really doesn't lead to a completely different uh, lead to a completely different scenario altogether then that means it is combination okay so let's start with that let's write that down so combinations remember is whenever you have any form of selection only okay so look for words such as team okay or choose or even sometimes words well, like group, okay? Like how many groups of so-and-so, so many people can be formed, okay? So in all these scenarios, remember order is not important, okay? For, so for example, if let's say you have A and B, now this is the same as B and A. Why? Because it's the same people and because it's the same people, therefore, it's the same team, okay? So if you're in a situation where AB is equals to BA, okay, if you're in a situation where AB is the same as BA, then remember, this is basically a situation where we need to apply combination, okay? Now, we'll do some examples, but before I do some examples, I want you guys to understand fully the difference between permutation and combination okay and we're going to do that once again with the help of an example so here we have a box okay and let's say there are three people the three people are a b and c okay now let's talk about permutation if let's say i ask you to arrange two people out of these three people now i'm sure you guys know how to do that that would be 3p2 okay so i've asked you to what i've asked you to arrange two people out of the three so the, you would do 3p2 which is equal to what which is equal to six now because six is not that big of a number let's write down all the six possibilities and let me make sure i have enough room for that one two three four five wait one two three four five six okay you can work your you can use your calculator to work out 3p2 now um, there is a way to do it without a calculator as well that's simply three times two Okay, now uh, let's let's see let's see what are the six possible ways with the uh, through which we can arrange two people from six. Okay, so one the obvious would let's start with the obvious ones that would be A B, and then uh, since we're we're talking about permutation, that means order is important. So that and then another possibility would be B A, okay, and then A C, and then another possibility would be C A, and then. If we work out, uh, and then it's it could be B, C, and then another possibility would be C, B, okay? So you can count, you will see that we have six different ways through which we can, uh, six different ways we can arrange two objects, uh, two people or objects, doesn't matter, out of three, okay? Now, if let's say we're talking about combination over here, okay? So if let's say instead of arranging two objects, Okay, uh, we talk about selecting two objects, okay, or selecting two people. I keep saying objects, okay, don't get confused. We're talking about people over here, okay? So if we select two people, the way that we're gonna do that, we're gonna use the C key, okay? You'll find the C key in your calculator. It's uh, basically shift and then the division sign that gives you the C key, okay? Now what's three C two? You'll notice that's equal to three. Now why the difference? Why is it that we have three instead of six? Now if you think about it, if you think about it, if we take all the options from permutation, because we're selecting two people, okay, think of it this way that we're making a team. So A, B, and B, A is considered as one team. Why? Because it's the same two people. So it doesn't matter whether it's A playing with B or B playing with A, it's the same team, okay? 
Similarly, AC and CA in permutation is considered a separate arrangement because the order in, in permutation, the order in which we arrange them is important. It matters. It makes a difference. But in combination, the order is irrelevant. Okay, so AC and CA are the same two people. So it doesn't matter the order in which we select them as long as we're selecting these two people. Okay, and then lastly, BC and CB doesn't matter. They're same two people. Doesn't the order in which I select them is irrelevant. So that's the reason why when you're talking about selecting two people from three we have three options okay and this is the key difference between permutation and combination okay so with this hopefully inshallah the difference between permutation and combination should be clear now let's do some examples now when we're doing examples we're going to do some very basic examples without any restrictions and uh, these are not questions from past papers these are questions from different different books so what we're trying to do is we're just trying to you know get a grip on the basics okay so that's the whole idea of this video we're gonna we're just trying to get a grip on the basics and then we're gonna do some questions with some very basic in, uh, restrictions as well but right now let's do a very some very easy set of questions and here they are how many different ways so this is first example okay how many different ways are there of selecting three photographs from 10 photographs now what's the key word in this entire question selecting that means we're only selecting them we're not arranging these photographs or whatever it is that the question is talking about we're just interested in selecting them so the first part the answer to the first part would simply be 10 c3 whatever that is equal to let's work it out in fact 10 c3 is equal to 120. In part B, five books from seven books, that would be 7C5. So 7C5, that's equal to 21. In part C, 11 footballers from 14. So 14C11, that's equal to 364. Okay, so we're just, you can think of it this way that we're just trying to get familiar with how combination works. And that's, that's the idea behind these questions. Let's do another question. Here is example number two. How many different combinations of three letters can be chosen from the letters P, Q, R, S, T? So P, Q, R, S, T are five letters. And from these five letters, we need to make combinations of three. So that would be 5C3. Let's see what that is. That's equal to 10. So that means there are 10 different combinations, which could be like P, Q, P, R, P, S, P, T. And the same goes for Q, R, Q, S, Q, T, and Q, T. <laughs> And then you can figure out the rest, okay? You don't have to do that, but I'm just saying if you're curious, what are those 10 combinations? Well, here they are. Okay, so we've done this question. We've done this question. Now, let's see. Okay, so now we have, yeah, so now we're going to introduce, okay, now this is also a question which doesn't have any restrictions. After this, we're going to introduce some questions that have some restrictions. So it says an athletics club has 10 long distance runners, eight sprinters and five jumpers, a team of three long distance runners. Okay. So now this team consists of different categories. Okay. So it's like if you, if you've played tr cricket or football, you know that not every player in football plays at the same position. Okay. Somebody's, some players are uh, play forward strikers. That's what we call them. And then you have midfielders and then you have defenders, goalkeeper. So when you're selecting a team, it's not that it's not that you're just randomly selecting 11 people amongst those 11 people. You make sure that, you know, whatever formation it is that you're playing, that you have three strikers, four defender, uh, four midfielders and four defenders. It, it, it depends the combination that you're playing. Okay. Although that's not possible Four 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 three three is possible, not four, four, three. So uh, that's what we're trying to do over here. Okay, so we're selecting three long distance runners from 10 long distance runners. So the way that we do that is 10 C3. And we're selecting five sprinters from eight. So because these, all these combined make one team. So in between, we're going to multiply. Okay, so we're making the same, we're making one team which consists of different categories. So in between, we're going to multiply. So 10 C3. Then we have 8C5, okay? And now we need to select two jumpers from five available jumpers. So that would be 5C2. Now you can work this out using your calculator. I would suggest that you do it directly. And if you do it correctly, you get 67,200, which is the correct answer. Okay, now let's introduce some examples, some very basic examples with restrictions. Okay, restriction means that, you know, so-and-so must be in the team, so-and-so must not be in the team, stuff like that, okay? So let's do a few examples with restrictions. Here we are, let's copy this, paste it here. Uh, 
So four of the letters of the word paintbrush are selected at random. Find the number of different combinations if there is no restriction. Okay, so normally with every, uh, as you guys probably saw in permutation also, that there are some, when you're doing a full length question, it always starts with no restriction, and then gradually they add different, different restrictions. So the first part is that we have how many letters? Let's count, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have 10 letters from which we need to select how many? We need to select four. So that can be done 10 C4, which is equal to 210 different ways. Okay, now part B. Part B says the letter T must be selected, okay? So if the letter T must be selected, that means we are selecting how many? So think of it this way, that letter T is already selected. So if letter T is already selected, that means we don't have to select four anymore. We now have to select three to complete the four letters that we're selecting, okay, number one. And number two, we're not selecting from the word paintbrush anymore. We're selecting from the letters of the word paintbrush. Okay, I mean, we have excluded the T. Okay, so it's, it's best that I write this down. So if letter T is already selected, that means, that means we now have to select only three more, okay, from the letters of the word paintbrush, okay? So there was a T which has already been selected. Now there is no T. That means these are the words that we're selecting from. It's like, you know, if you remember those, uh, if you remember um, back in, well, some of you may still be in school, you know, there are some players who, for whatever reason, are always in the team, okay? So if you know that so-and-so person is going to be in the team, so if let's say you're making a team of 11 people, that means now you just have to worry about the remaining 10 people, okay? If, if a certain someone has to be in the team for whatever reason, that means that person is already selected. Now you have to select from the, from the remaining number of students, okay, from the remaining potential candidates. And now you don't have to select 11 anymore. That is, if you're selecting a total of 11, you just have to select 10, okay? So... Now the letter T must be selected. So that means we are, like I said, we're not selecting four anymore. We're selecting only three. So T has already been selected. So we're now selecting from nine. And how many do we have to select? We have to select three. Okay, so you can think of it this way. It's like we have one T which we must select. So that's one C1. Okay, and we have nine remaining letters from which we need to select three. So what's that equal to? That's equal to 84. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a little, um, I'll give you a little trick, okay? So nine plus one, look at the total number of letters that we're selecting from, that's 10, okay? And that's the number of letters that we have in the word paintbrush. And one plus three, that's equal to four, and look at the number of letters that we have to select. Okay, so when we put all this together, we are still selecting four from 10, okay? But the slight restriction is that the letter T has already been selected, okay? So this is like a standard rule. The number of uh, options that you're selecting from must be equal to the total and the number of uh, letters or people or objects that you have selected must be equal to the one mentioned in the question, okay? So like I said, this was just a very simple restriction. There are gonna be some very complicated restrictions as well. In fact, we're gonna do one example right now. Here it is. Okay, let's get rid of this. So it says a committee of five people is to be chosen from six men and seven women. No, wait, the other way around. Six women and seven men. Find the number of different committees that can be chosen if there are no restrictions. So first part, no restrictions. That means things are all things are pretty straightforward. That means combined, we have 13 people to select from, and we have to select a total of five. So that's 13 C5, which is 1,287. Okay, no-brainer. No restrictions are always no-brainer. Uh, no brainers. Now part B, if there are more men than women. Okay, so here's what I always suggest, that you make a column. Okay, one column for men and the other column for women. And in bracket, I've written the total number of men and I am now going to write the total number of women. Now let's see all the possible ways that we can select a team. Okay, one team, not different teams, that we can select a team where we have more men than women, okay? So remember, you have to make sure that the total number of people that you're selecting is equal to five. So you can select three men, 
and two women. Now, how will you do that? That's going to be 7C3 into 6C2, which is equal to, let's see what that's equal to. That's equal to 525. Another possibility is that you select four men and you select one woman. And the way that you're going to do that is 7C4, for, because from seven men, you want to have four men and 6C1, because you want to select one woman from the six. So that's equal to 210. If you're thinking that I'm working these out mentally, that's not the case. I've worked them out already to save some time. And another possibility, the final possibility is if you select five men, which can be done 7C5 number of ways into 6C0, which is equal to 21. Okay, now because these are multiple ways of selecting the same team, these are not different teams, okay? I mean, yes, you can say that these are different combinations of teams, but it's the same task, okay? It's the same condition that we're trying to fulfill, okay? There are multiple ways of meeting the same condition. Therefore, what do we do? We add, okay? So remember this, I'll write this down, that because these are multiple ways of meeting the same condition, okay? Therefore, we add. Okay, so let's add them up. 525 plus 210 plus 221, that's equal to 756 ways. Okay, so these are 756 different ways of selecting a team which contains more men than women. Okay, now one last question. Yeah, here it is. A team of five members is to be chosen from five men and three women. So this is example number three. Find the number of different teams that can be chosen if there are no restrictions. Once again, if there are no restrictions, things are pretty straightforward. We have eight to choose from and five to choose. So that would be 8C5, which is equal to 56. Then if we talk about part B, that consists of three men and two women. Okay, so the condition is pretty straightforward. From the five, you want three men. Okay, and from the three women, you want two. So 5C3 into 3C2, which is equal to what? Which is equal to 30, okay? Now let's do part C. Part C says that consists of, okay, what consists of? The different number of teams that consist of no more than one woman, okay? No more than one woman. That means at max, there can be one woman. So it's possible that from the five men, okay, you have all five men and you have zero women. Okay, that's possible. We don't have more than one woman. So this can be done. How can we do this? This can be done. Remember, how many men do you have? Let's make a column. You have five men. And how many women do you have? You have three women. Okay. So five men and zero women can be done. 5C5 into 3C0 number of ways, which is equal to what? Which is equal to one. Okay. Another possibility is that you have four men and one woman. Because the question says there should be no more than one woman. So that means one woman is a possibility. So that would be 5C4 from the five men. We want four men and 3C1, which is equal to what? Which is equal to 15. Once again, use your calculator to work this out. And all together, we get 16. So the answer to part C is 16. That there are 16 different ways that you can select a team which consists of no more than one woman, okay? And uh, that's it, this was just an introduction. So in this introduction, we did some questions. We first did an intro, then we did some questions with no restriction, and then we did some questions with some very basic restrictions. But these restrictions, as you will see with the passage of time, can get really, really complicated, especially when you're dealing with lectures. But my team and I have broken it down into easier into multiple chunks so that it's easy for you to you know focus on specific concepts and practice those specific concepts as well so uh, for now this is enough i'll stop here let me know what your thoughts are about this chapter so far and i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care allah hafiz